In connection with having hosting and having that space on a hosting server, the other cool thing you can use it for is transferring files to friends, transferring larger sized items to business people. And this, as I was explaining in my previous video, or maybe I didn't talk about it in the video, but this essentially is the cloud. So we just talked about PayPal briefly. Let's jump back here into Dreamweaver. So by connecting here, and I don't want you to use this for this purpose and for my class server, but by connecting here, you're connecting to what we could call our class server cloud, okay? Since the web has been around, anybody who's creating web content has been in the cloud. So I have files on my computer, then I have files remotely in this folder here, okay, that I'm saving for my web course, and they're in the cloud, so to speak. They're on the web. So this, this buzz term hasn't been around that long, but the concept has been around forever. So a standard file transfer protocol program like FileZilla or this really old school one I use. You guys got to see this. This is from 1995. It's actually called WSFTP95. I'm going to connect to my server here. And when I do that, I've got my desktop on this side. Okay. And I've got all my server folders over here. I don't have to be uploading HTML files per se. Okay, if I wanted to send, for example, my entire album from my band to a buddy, WAV files, not MP3s, right, which are way bigger, this is going to take, most email pr server programs wouldn't even allow something that large to be attached. And even if they did, that would take quite a while to download and quite a while to upload and deal with, and I want to send it to like 10 friends to, for them to check it out and hear it. I could zip the album up, all the WAV files, put it on my server as a zip folder and just send them a link in an email and it will just download it. So I've done stuff like that here. Um, you can see here, I have a big, huge zip full of uh, pictures. This was for a real estate client, okay? And I didn't want them to have to download all these large size pictures, but I wanted them to have the good resolution pictures. This, if anything, is a good reason to have and this is what people are doing with the cloud now when they have big files you know what's going on they're they're saying oh you know what here here's i'm going to share this file with you here's a link to it and and that way they don't have to send this big huge file so if i were to go to grandbenontario.ca forward slash fullerview dot zip any browser is just going to prompt me to save the zip folder and then i don't have to send it in an email i've done this with my colleagues at fanshaw I've done this a million times with music because it's big stuff to attach. I've sent videos to people this way so they don't. Now, videos will automatically play in the browser if you just stick them in your server folder. So it doesn't have to be embedded into an HTML website. If you want like a song to play, for example, and you don't want embedded in the HTML website, and you want somebody to hear a song. I'm sure I have something in here. Um, here, okay, so here's a song I have, right? So if I were to take that, and stick it on the end of the domain, cancel. That's not zipped. So it, it should just play if I have any kind of plugin in there. So there you go, okay? So the song is just playing. Now I don't have my volume on, so it's not playing, but this, this is another use for server space. I mean, and anybody can really do the same thing with the cloud, but with the cloud, you can't automatically have a song play off a server. That's the cool, thing about having your own server space. Okay, so you can use it for file transfer as well. And you're technically in the cloud now. Um, and that's why I also wanted to show you that upon the termination of this course, if you decide to set up your own server space, not necessarily with GoDaddy, but with whoever, all you're gonna need to do is create a server connection with these three things. And you're not gonna have to fix the server connection for your final project website. You might just delete that. But how hard is it to go back into Dreamweaver and put these three things in? Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Or if you download FileZilla, for example, which is the kind of go-to FTP client, we're using Dreamweaver as our file transfer protocol client. If you just want to go back and forth with files, host, which is your FTP login, username, password. And the port's almost always 21 unless you have something funny going on. You probably noticed that in Dreamweaver. It's almost always 21, okay? So you can use that to transfer files back and forth. 
Just because I've taught you to connect using my credentials doesn't mean if you go to some company, and it could be anybody, okay? Like that, that cow one that where you can buy server space. You can buy server space from Costco, and they're gonna give you an FTP address, a username and a password, and then you're gonna be able to use that to get into your server folder. So what you've learned today is very usable information. And I just wanted to show you how I've used it in a sense to transfer files around. And this is before I had my, I had all my stuff up on a Google Drive and like in my master's program, that's how we've been transferring files back and forth the whole time. We use the Google Drive, but, but in the sense of uh, just, you know, transferring large size files, I mean, you do run out of space on your Google Drive. I already closed it, but yeah, you can easily set up some server space and start pushing files around the web like that, okay?